right, Jason Hollis Farms this morning. Me and Pete's loaded up. We got the Grasshopper Lawnmower 500 Ranger with the spray rig on the back. We are headed over to Mississippi. Got a few things we got, or a lot of things we got to do over there today. Not going to get it all done. And then we got to uh, come back to Alabama. I should have carried my camera with me a while ago. It was pitch black, dark, and man down here was building the road on the dozer. It's pretty cool. Thing got lights going everywhere. But anyway, they're going to be uh, pretty sure they're going to move their loader here in just a little while. And well, it'll take a little while to get set up. But uh, kind of moved down to a different spot where I quit having this kid so long, so far. that needs spraying here just a couple spots that I missed tell y'all what I might do I may just come back in here and clip this I'm gonna ride around in it a little bit and look but it's not just a whole lot to spray but man that clover looks good
second ago, I ain't found them yet. Alright, they're across this ditch over here. This morning, way before daylight, he was putting a bunch of dirt over this ditch, over this culvert. So they could cross. y'all they're setting the new loading area up and they will be cutting along the edge of the fence had to take a ladder stand down just took a climber off the tree been there for 20 years had to cut it off of bolt cutters got a lock on up there i gotta get down i had to put my safety harness on don't feel comfortable as they used to with these heights and this one's probably been up here 20 years anybody any of y'all out there ever got any stands that's been left i usually don't worry with them and take them down but this one's got to come down so we can get that tree all right, camera on. All right, so I haven't climbed trees like I used to in a long time. So I went and got my safety harness. At least try to take this and down safely. I don't know how many I'll ever put up like this again. May have to teach Cody one day. It's been a long time since I had this thing on. I'm gonna have to rig me a belt up to go around the tree. I ain't got one of them. But we gonna make it work and get this thing down. You don't 
climb much and ain't no need in having climbing gear. Kind of like him shooting houses these days. I don't mind a ladder stand. I've kind of gotten over all the lock on deal. All right, I got to make something to go down this tree. All right, I think I got something rigged up. This thing's about 30 foot up there. Probably just going to have to cut it and bring it down. Not sure. I'll probably carry it all up there with me. Then I'll work my way down. All right, y'all, here we go. I made me a rope. That ain't the best thing in the world, but it's gonna work. I'm gonna put y'all up for a second. All right, y'all made it up here. Oh, old, old man lock on. Way up here. All right, y'all, I was able to get half the ladder down and half the stand down, but I got it low enough where they can cut it. And we'll take the rest of it off when it gets it on the ground. Whew. Makes you wish you had it left. All right, y'all, back on the John Deere 5065. Still got the greater hooked up. The road is holding up real good. There's just a couple of spots down here where they crossed it with the, with the skidder and had to get on it with the dozer and stuff. Just gonna scratch around on it to keep it leveled up. But everything else is looking good. trying to get all the trucks loaded and get out of here so they'll be ready to unload in the morning.
laying them down, opening it on up. To the fence, you can I can see it. Y'all may not can see it from this camera. Right up there is where Cece killed her turkey. And this part right in here, it's about, I'm gonna say 80 to 90% big old pine trees. So we decided to clear cut it. He's gonna, he's gonna, uh, if there's any big oak trees out in there, he's gonna leave them until I look at them and kind of see what we wanna do. But this is just going to be another spot planted back in pines and grown up, thicket, briars and all, another bedding area and food area. Uh, it's very pretty in here, uh, but there was no food value at any time of the year. So that's kind of one thing, one reason we're in here cutting these pines is to get more food value going because you can get a lot of tonnage of food in a briar thicket. And this, this little part here, I don't know, it's probably going to be 10 acres, not real big, but it's a, you can make a pretty good briar thicket out of that, but doing real good. These are some big old trees down here. Lots of big old logs. Lots of big logs. Anyway, I believe I'm finna, ooh, Skeeter's getting bad. I believe I'm finna call it a day. If y'all like our stuff, subscribe to us, Hollis Farms. Hats, t-shirts, and stickers, hollisfarms.com. Appreciate y'all watching. Out of here.